All right, so I wanna reveal my TikTok strategy and I've been doing this for just over a year now. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've had thousands of people come to me wanting my services. Um, I've applied this strategy on my other companies. I've applied it with my clients. This works today and probably will work for at least another year. It's the most powerful strategy I've ever come across. And to give you guys context, before I was on TikTok, I used to rely on Upwork. I used to rely on word of mouth, referrals, even paid ads on Facebook, Google. And the problem I noticed was that it was getting more competitive and Google ads were just very difficult to actually close people, no matter how good you were. Same with Facebook ads. You had a lot of time wasters. And then I went all in on TikTok and I had an NFT company at one point. Um, some of you guys may have heard of it. It's called NFT Factory. And I was producing content about NFTs and marketing was just on the side. One day I made a video about paid ads and it blew up. It did about 80,000 views. And that was kind of a moment for me to realize that, holy crap, there's actually a huge opportunity here to just give loads and loads of value and make a lot of money out of it. And so if you go through my TikTok right now, what I've been doing is just coming up with every single pain point or thing that a customer of mine would be searching for on Google. And there are tools like Answer the Public where you can actually put in a term, like in my case, Facebook ads. Uh, if I scroll down here, I can see all of the questions, comparisons, uh, prepositions that people are searching for to do with Facebook ads. And so what I've been doing is going through here um, this is alongside knowing what to create based on my experience, but I've been going along here and let's say uh, why Facebook ads get rejected. I would take this and then make a video about that. And the idea is that over a couple of months, you just put out as much content as you can. And all this content starts to become almost like a sales team to generate you business. Because if one of these videos takes off right now and I get a follow, that person is going to see I think I've got like 150 posts in there. That person's going to see about 150 posts or they're going to at least see like the top 10 posts. And provided that you're just giving loads and loads of value, you're being upfront, you're not selling yourself, you're not being salesy, people will follow your content, they'll find it helpful, they'll save it and that helps the algorithm. And then you start getting thousands of people coming to your profile and what happens is X percent of people, and I'll try and find out this stat and include it in the post, but X percent of people Go to your profile, X percent, then go to your link tree, X percent, then go to this. Now, the key, if you're in B2B especially, is you have to give away something for free to some value. So for me, that's going to be audits. It's going to be a free strategy session. And so what you need to do is just make sure you're qualifying people here. So like 0 to 200K, 200K, whatever this is for you, whatever's qualified, you can obviously then focus on the leads that come in with that criteria. Now, the honest way that you kill it on TikTok and just marketing in general is that you have to give away so much value for free. So if you know a secret source or something that works really well for you, your clients, try and reveal as much of that as you can as a video and put it out there, have people opt in to consume that content. Don't worry about people stealing your ideas because what you find is that if you keep giving for free, you get a lot of people that come to you and wanna buy from you. Now, for recording content, I use this tool here called OBS and basically I screen record, I show my face and I just record videos and I try and do two to three a day and just keep posting daily. When I really got the exposure I got on TikTok was when I was posting three times a day. It's very hard to do because there's so many moving parts. You need to create videos, you need to edit them. But if you can, try and go for a period of time where you just dedicate, say, two hours a day and just post as much as you can. And so what I do is I post videos and then when I had a thousand followers, I would live stream. And this is what really blew me up on TikTok. So for whatever reason, if you post to TikTok and then you go live within say 10 minutes and you live stream for maybe 30 minutes to an hour or more, what ends up happening is these posts go out on the For You page. So some of my best performing posts have got views because I've gone live and that's just naturally pushed my content out. I think it's because TikTok rewards you for using their features um, because I actually saw that with this post here when I was doing an image carousel. But the point I'm trying to make is you want to create a high value piece of content, post it to TikTok, use hashtags, then go live on TikTok. And that will push your video on the For You page. If the video is good enough, it will keep growing and keep growing. And I'm in a position now where I'm getting like 250 to 300 leads a week coming into me through my TikTok. And just to give you an idea of that, when I was running ads on Google with the skills that I have, I was paying about 50 pound per lead. So I'm basically getting like 
£15,000 worth minimum of free marketing. I mean, it's not costing me anything other than my time, um, but that is the power of posting content. Now, this is just TikTok. You have IG Reels, you have YouTube Shorts, Facebook Reels, Twitter, LinkedIn. And so if you imagine trying to build a team at scale where you're posting this content across all these channels every single day, you're just going to have so much business. And there is a massive opportunity for anyone right now in B2B to go and do this. I think TikTok's the easiest to grow. I think it's the easiest to get clients. It's the easiest to go viral overnight. And I personally would not believe any of the myths or opinions that people say around TikTok is this dancing app. It's an app where people just mess about. It's an app for kids. That is not the case. Some of my highest paying clients have come from TikTok. And these are people that are like 40, 50 plus, super corporate, like always working, but somehow they found me on TikTok. And I've never seen this before for people like myself, B2B, agencies, marketers. I've never had this kind of opportunity. And so as you can probably tell, I've gone all in on this, creating content at scale, posting as much as I can, just keep on posting. And the other crazy thing to tell you before I end this video is that I have 18,000 followers, which in the TikTok world is very small. When I had about 2,000 followers, I was getting serious business coming in. And so I don't want you guys to look at, oh, I need 5,000 followers, 10,000 followers to get some good leads. If you produce good enough content, it only takes one video. You're only one post away from blowing up your business overnight. And that's because of the TikTok algorithm. So don't get caught up on how many followers you've got or how many followers you want to get in order to make X amount of money or get X amount of leads. It really doesn't matter. It's more down to producing really good content, posting at scale, doing lives, giving loads of value. Just give, 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 and you will find a lot of people come in touch with you and they want to work with you. And the other crazy thing is that when you get on the phone to these people, you don't need to pitch yourself. Like they are ready to close. They've seen your videos. They think that you know what you're talking about. They see the value in what you do because you've demonstrated it for your content. So if you're an accountant and you go out there and you start talking about every possible way to save money in your company, how to pay yourself as a director, uh, how to get around certain different strategies. I'm not an accountant, so I don't know. But the point being is that we just put out all of that helpful content in short form content. People are going to save it. They're going to get in touch with you. Hey, I've seen this video of yours talking about corporation tax. Can you help me with my company? And you will honestly just blow up your business. So try this out for yourselves. Give this strategy a go. Um, I'll always keep you guys updated if anything changes or if it stops working for me. But so far, this is what has 10, 20x my business. And all it's cost me is my time. I've not had to put any money into this. I don't have to run ads anymore. It's literally just post content, leave it, and you get a really nice steady stream of new business coming in every single day.